Today, we are taking a look at what I would like to call active labor relaxation, the Russian dacha. You know, there's this weird thing about Russia. It seems like when people are working at the office, everyone's kind of lazy. But the second they get to go to their own dacha and do work for themselves, oh, then they're the boss and they want to work. And well, today I'm the guest, so I'm just trying to help out because that's something very important. When you go visit friends at the dacha in Russia, they kind of expect you to, to do something, including push this thing around. You know, you should all invite me over to your house sometimes because I'm the best guest ever. I chop the wood, fix some furniture, mow the lawn, and now I'm gonna go get water from everyone because they say that there's a freshwater spring around here. But in true Russian fashion, while I've got a little bit of work to do, we're gonna have some fun too. Let's go. Well, this reminds me of when I used to live in Kazakhstan. Back then I had to get only well water. And well, here's our well. Uh -huh. So, as you can see, using a well is a very simple process. And you might be wondering, Tim, how are you gonna drink that water? It's from the ground, it's dirty. Don't worry, we've got a special plan for it. A very special plan, indeed. Oh, this is fun on the weekends. I'm glad they invented modern plumbing. Whew. Heavy. That was farther than I thought. Oh. Okay. Oh. Hey. Oh, ho, ho. Yes, I stole. Hey. Water here. All of our tasks are done. Let's go have some fun. Well, so what are these dachas? Well, the word comes from the Russian word for giving, because the powers that be back in the Russian Empire and in the Soviet Union gave out dachas to people who served the state rather well. Uh, interestingly enough, in the Khrushchev period, during communism, they wanted to make everyone get about the same award. And that's when they divided each area of land into what they call chaste sotkas. One sotka is 100 square meters. So each dacha typically is about 600 square meters, maybe up to 800. Um, and that standard size is still around today, unless you've got a lot of money, then you can buy as much as you want. Capitalism, baby. Well, now you know why we went and got the water. Because we have an antique samovar to fill up. So, this. The owner said it was made in 1890, and I believe him. All right, that looks like a good start. Now, now to fill it up with some uh, firewood and get it blazed up. our adventure to the Russian Dasha. I think I learned one thing. In Russia, you've got to work hard, then play hard, and then eat hard. I'm Tim Kirby for Russia Beyond the Headlines. This was Russia, tips, tricks, and travel. Do you